honestly, I think I want a Sasahara skit again. It's been too long. I can't really remember when the last one was. It was like seven or eight, I think. Or no, wait, that wouldn't even be too long ago. Maybe six or seven then. I don't know. We need another one though. It doesn't matter. We can never get too much of him. So that's that's all I think I'm really hoping for here. Or even the principal. One of those two. Uh, that's all I kind of really want. If you like it all, the like and subscribe. Do not to me. Feel free to speak around for the discussion. Let me cause this episode or series. Let's go on with episode 10. Starting off with my... Oh. Never mind the squad. You can just stare at them all the whole time, you know. We never have to end the game. Yeah, she's like, I got all day. I got all day. <laughs> That's kind of lame. Uh, I don't fuck with that. Play the game, my... <laughs> yes, the two birds perfectly land. I feel like her bag of uh, excuses probably goes deep, you know? She doesn't do her homework often. She's late. I just I just feel like she would have to have a deep bag of them. <laughs> Only happens when you're running late, too. You hit all the green ones when you're not. <laughs> How smart, how smart it. Mm. <laughs> she doesn't look up. Oh. They <laughs> said if you want to come in, you're going to make it known. What? I didn't even know they had lower doors. <laughs> that is a very my joke. <laughs> but to be honest, I feel like she can't even be bothered, so I don't know. Why do you have so many windows and doors? <laughs> Just don't go. Just at this point, go home. That's what I would do. Star part her eyes are here. Mm. Might as well make it worth it. Make it make it memorable. Is there no way to just open it and like avoid it though? Like <laughs> What if it's not even her classroom? What if she's at the wrong room? Or in before it's like a Sunday and she's <laughs> not even time for class. Well, <laughs> well uh, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. They could have just put the sign on the door. They did not have to put it on the drug board. Thrilling. <laughs> Absolutely thrilling. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Except for baseballs. <laughs> Except for, proje for projectiles, yeah. We got so into it, yeah, that shit sounded terrible. <laughs> She's just blowing air. She's having fun though, whatever, yeah. 
It's you, mate. It's you who sounds like shit. Cool. I don't really know what that means, but... <laughs> what is that? Can't prep. No, no time to slow down. <laughs> Just use your mouth. Just catch it at the bottom. <laughs> what a lousy customer. Just go with it. What? Stop, stop. Go on. Oh, wow. Can we get some water or something so it goes? Listen, she's asking normal questions, but at the same time, it's a disaster. <laughs> I knew it was you. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> on your turn. <laughs> and she gets to witness all this. Aww. <laughs> if we come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> Better show this entire time. What are you talking about? いいか。褒めて伸びるタイプと叱って伸びるタイプがいる。そこは先生の勘で判断していくぞ。分かったな。褒められて伸びるのに全く褒められない。うーん。Hey. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's just change the show entirely. <laughs> Ah, it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little, not a lot. <laughs> Way more than you. Instead of playing along and praising her. Oh, well, I guess this works. Until she doesn't want to play like this anymore, but it helps for now. She's reading. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get it. You don't want to be honest, he kind of is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably a disaster. Let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, you look real mature right now. Oh no. <laughs> Go around the side. <laughs> yeah, let her believe she's doing all this on her own. She's having fun. No. No. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, Sakamoto. I guess he doesn't have to worry about catching a cold. <laughs> oh, heat him up real quick. <laughs> You're gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. She doesn't want to be mature anymore. Conflict of interest. It's always been there. <laughs> ah, good joke. <laughs> oh, back by the river. Every time they use this music, you know, like the stupidest shit that's about to happen. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Then what comes? I don't want to do that, though. Yeah, that's what we're going to Never really thought about it. Oh. <laughs> Just embrace it now. <laughs> you know what I like about Yuko? She's true to herself. <笑>そもそも人間国王ってどうやってなるんだ the fuck is wrong with her? She wants to be a freeloader for being honest, so... Yeah. Just <laughs> like a plenty of time. Yeah. And then you don't think about it for three more years, and then you're like, oh shit, what do I do? The cycle continues. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the one decision to study right now leads all the way back to this regardless. <laughs> if someone comes in and beats the shit out of you for slamming on the ground. <laughs> Feel bad for her, mom. I'm gonna put up with this. Yeah, we, we just saw. But, but that just leads back. I was saying it.
during the, the end of the skit, but uh, I, I kind of cut myself off. But what I really love about Yuko is just how true she is to herself, right? She doesn't act different every time that we see her when she's alone than like when she's with other people. Uh, usually, like a lot of people, like I guess that are kind of like her, who do a lot of things directly for the attention of others, uh, will when they're by themselves be very different people uh and not always but a lot of times they will be because that they can kind of turn that off for that moment but then they kind of use up a lot of their energy and everything uh when they're around others to try and get that attention uh so her just constantly being like so over the top and like always thinking of these ideas of like what'll get her that attention that she wants but also like what she's going to do and she's just very true to who she actually is and she just remains constant uh and consistent throughout everything and every scenario and situation she's in regardless of who she's around uh i think is really cool and i i do really appreciate that i also liked going back here in a couple of the locations that we have before uh we had the one where we went back to the lake and she was fishing and then we had another where we ended up seeing her do the uh uh what was it they or they went to the 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 sushi thing they saw the guy there with the conveyor belts and everything like we had a lot of like similar locations and things that we haven't done maybe like a lot of skits about uh before or we've had like maybe one or two here or there like just revisiting the locations whether it's not with the same characters or something uh and just like how a lot of the themes like the similar things at the beginning we open with us playing a game it's like similar to one of the earlier episodes where we open uh and in the three of the, the three girls were playing a game or something again it's just like I really like how how we can reuse like similar things like that uh but do just different versions of them or treat them like slightly different here or there uh and still make them extremely entertaining i can't stand my i gotta be honest this this pissed me off if i was playing with her and instead of just playing the actual game and just sitting here and and watching us like this like uh, until we move just because it's like almost a guaranteed win because there's no way that they're going to be able to stay as still as you can especially in the positions that they're in it's like that's so fucked up i can't believe that like this again another scenario we've done how many situations where somebody's running late for something and they're trying to rush to get some to get somewhere uh but like every time they're able to like add like a unique like little flair to it uh that makes it very different uh depending on whether it's using a different character or even using the same character but it just makes it so much entertaining because they're able to change things up so much i love her just complaining too about catching all the lights and like all like literally everything that when you're running late everything that can go wrong goes wrong basically which is like the truest thing ever that always happens and then when you're not running late everything's just like it flies by perfectly it just makes absolutely no sense how it works <laughs> maybe it's just because you notice those things you know if you're not late for something like you're not really noticing like all the lights and everything that you probably hit and but if you are, then you're definitely like realizing that everything that you're running into. I don't know. Basically, she's like somebody's playing a prank on me. Now, I don't know if they put this up here as like a way of like nobody's going to want to open the door because of this. So it'll like keep anybody out and it'll allow them to like peek inside the room maybe and read what's on the board. But I, I actually have no idea why we didn't just like tape a note to the door or something being like, oh, we're going to be over here. Like, uh, whatever. <laughs> but she goes back and forth here, doesn't know what she wants to do. She's like, oh, I'm going to be late and then spends like 15 minutes debating what it is that she she should do and what her next step should be which is a complete mess i mean they got doors locked so that sure that she thinks she's getting pranked in other scenarios they have doors apparently down here like things that you can get through like crawl spaces I was not aware i don't know if that's like just part of the joke that we're adding because i mean we even see with the the mirrors and everything that we have later up here uh and we can get like through these windows and stuff so i wonder i don't know if they were just like adding that or if that's actually things that these classrooms and stuff have actually insane uh that there is so much i also really like the way that they animate the running here of just adding more and more of like the black lines to to indicate like she's moving quicker than instead of actually like animating her to make herself like move quicker or like seem like that to our eyes at least we can just keep that consistent but make the background seem like it's moving like so much quicker and it's probably way easier than having to like actually animate something or like create like a 3d thing and like actually just put us through and loop whatever like the actual like quality background is and instead just put a bunch of lines over it uh, to make it easier for them she just says screw it i'm going through <laughs> there's nothing else i can do i just gotta make the grand entrance and everybody will find it funny i'm gonna get in trouble anyways and she does and nobody's here of course because they're doing it in a different room absolutely insane my in this moment eating the fucking bubble i don't <laughs> <laughs> Yugo thinking that she's or acting like an alien and being like nothing can hit hurt me or nothing can touch me at all so she was hit by a baseball 
<laughs> so funny. I love them playing the instruments here too. Very fun. And the Sakamoto yells at them and we end up finding that Hakusei is not even playing it because it's just literally just blowing air. And he's not doing anything. So it's not how he's awful at it. And that's who he's getting pissed at basically. This is the longest skit I think of the whole thing. Uh, it, it reaches a crazy climax. I don't know if I necessarily love it. It, it was kind of all right for me, uh, but it, it definitely threw some interesting things, like using the used chopsticks and then just dropping a baseball and like never keeping anything predictable. And this girl just being completely like mind blown and not knowing what to do in this moment, I think is pretty good. All of a sudden, I'm assuming like her husband or somebody shows up here who took their life savings and went on this journey. Uh, it basically was not able to find what he was looking for in the process, and it just, uh, it's a <laughs> complete disaster. This is insane. We're just straight NASA, straight different series again. I love when they do that, when they just do some things that are so disconnected from everything else, and they make it look, like, entirely different and feel different, and they make it, like, more quality and interesting than, like, so many other just series entirely. <laughs> And they do it in such a short time here, but I think that's great. I can say tying up her hair and all of a sudden thinking that she's mature. Actually, this is definitely the longest one of the, the whole episode. Uh, but I think this is extremely quality all the way through because she doesn't really know what she's doing. She doesn't know how to act mature. She wants to act like it. She wants to tell other people that they're useless. Her constantly like repeating that and being like, ah, you're so helpless. I'll just help you. And doing like the stupidest things possible. Cleaning up even when I was reading and just taking her book out of her hand. Throwing multiple books over <laughs> Sakamoto instead of getting a blanket or something just like complete roundabout and useless ways oh, i want to do the laundry there's no way that you could end up doing this and end up turning the wrong one i guess it is the right one that she did i don't know why i was like i don't think that they animated that she was reaching on that side but she definitely did so i guess that makes <laughs> plenty of sense if that's on the wrong one makes her feel like she's actually doing something she wants to cook and then we end up burning sakamoto a mess the poor guy does not deserve this until she spills all the eggs <laughs> bro it's, i just i can't i can't get behind her it's so impossible to put my own my me into her own mind you know i feel like i can do it so well with all the other characters and what they're thinking at the moment and doing but she's just she's on another one until sakamoto hits her with the idea of uh you can't have any more snacks if you're mature and she immediately snaps out she's like right, i'm not doing this anymore we're going fishing, being able to just catch, like, the complete random things. I've never had an encounter like this where I just get, like, random shit, like a boot and everything. But I've definitely played games or, like, like slot machines and stuff. And they always have, like, boots and, like, just random items and stuff that you're, like, fishing up. Uh, so that's, that's definitely a thing. And then we end off with the whole Yuko scene of constantly finding yourself in this, this cycle uh, basically starting off and you know, I don't want to study and how does that evolve into like, okay, if I don't study, what are the consequences of that? Okay. But then if I do study, it's going to always, I'm always going to be led to this point, regardless of what I do in this moment. And I still have to make that one decision about what I want to do afterwards. And I don't want to go to college, but I don't want to work and I don't want to do all this. And this is where I meant like, she's just being true to herself, like thinking back to when she was three and what she wanted to do and then just playing it out and acting like, it. <laughs> like she's completely on another one, but it makes it extremely funny. And just her having like the stupidest things of like how do i become a li living national treasure it's like you literally can't lose in her mind completely over the idea that she doesn't want to do it anymore until her mom has to come in and beat the shit out of her again like the same same incident that we had with the mosquito right and and it's basically like replaying another another outcome and another thing that basically happens but having an entire different setup for it or having like even a similar setup but different scenarios and stuff and keeping it fresh enough it does a great job at doing that very fun as always enjoyed it quite a bit and i hope you guys did as well if you like it all hit the like and subscribe they do mean a lot to me feel free to check out the channel if you comments with this episode or series i'll be back for the 11th episode very soon i hope you guys have a good one peace